whoever does not abandon that bad, false, deceptive, hurtful, abusive speech and acting upon it, acting in an abusive way, a bad way, a deceptive way, in a rotten way basically, then Allah says, you're wasting your time staying away from food and drink. We don't need the fact that you abstained from food and drink. The reward for you is nothing besides hunger and thirst. Just like if you were to stand at night for long hours or you were to read Salah, your prayer. By the way, Salah, when we talk of Salah, I'd like to correct something. Some people now think there are six Salahs. Fajr, Dhuhr, Asr, Maghrib, Isha and Muhammad. You didn't get that. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness, inshallah. I see you're not into football. So, <laughs> that took long guys, that took very, very long. I could have scored three goals, subhanallah. <laughs> Six salah, Fajr, Dhuhr, Asr, Maghrib, Isha and Muhammad. You know what the young boys think that means? That means there is time in the day to watch football, subhanallah. My brothers, that is salah, salah. So for your information, when you want to say the name Muhammad, You've got to add a ha to it. Did you hear why? Do you know why? Because he's hot when it comes to football, mashallah. <laughs> My brothers and sisters, that is salah. Salah is goodness and piety. That's what it means. It doesn't mean prayer. Prayer is salah with a ha. And this is salah with a ha. But I want to tell you there are people who fulfill their salah, they fulfill their prayer. They full stand in the night, they read the Quran, they do a lot, but their tongues are bad, their expressions are dirty. They are abusive in their own homes to their own spouses. They don't take care of their children, they don't spend time with their children. 